some of the images are tragic and not very beautiful. There are people in their most vulnerable moments, but those who've participated often have a message that they want to share with the public. These are the moments we don't see on the news every day, but these photos put a face to the pandemic and take us beyond the daily statistics. They're part of a photography project by Heather Patterson. She's an emergency doctor here in Calgary, and she's been granted rare access by AHS to take her camera onto the front lines of COVID-19 to share the stories behind the numbers. I have had the privilege of photographing people really from the start of illness all the way through to the end of their illness. Sometimes those stories are very sad and tragic and sometimes they're happy endings. And there's moments where I put my camera down out of respect for our team or out of respect for the family and patients. Families saying a potential goodbye to a loved one prior to an intubation, um, both in person in some of the second wave images, but also over FaceTime or Zoom in the third wave where they're not able to be present. This photo shares a moment. Healthcare workers turning this COVID patient, a young active man face down so he can breathe better. Patterson writes, he's someone's dad, husband, son, brother and friend. She's hoping these images will encourage people to get vaccinated, something she's also now been able to capture. I find that watching people receive their vaccines is such a hopeful and optimistic part of the pandemic. The project has shown Patterson the importance of humanity in medicine for both patients and healthcare workers. And she hopes the photos will do the same for others who see them. As we progress through this pandemic, I think many of us are quite fatigued and tired of, of what we've been experiencing as a whole through the pandemic. And by moving us um, from statistics and numbers to learning about individuals and seeing what it actually looks like and feels like, I think we have the opportunity to generate empathy and compassion. Patterson is working to have the photos published in a book with all proceeds going to COVID-19 charities. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.